Today we're going to look at the Education Database ERIC. To access it, please click on the area where it says Articles, Databases on the library's homepage. And we're going to click on Browse Databases by Subject. And now we have an alphabetical list of subjects, and we're going to go to Education. We have several databases listed here for you, and today we're going to use ERIC, which is maintained by the U.S. Department of Education. To access the database from home, you may be asked to log in using your MyLaGuardia credentials. I'm already logged in. For today, I'm going to use the topic Achievement Gap, and I'm putting that in quotation marks to find the exact phrase. As you can see, we get over 6,000 results, and we have two easy ways to narrow those results. The first one is to add another keyword. So here I'm going to put and, I'm going to put add secondary education. And now we have over 3,000, still a lot. So the next thing we're gonna do is use our refine results tools over here on the left side of the screen. I'm going to limit our results to full text and to peer reviewed so that we're only looking at scholarly articles. Now we still have over 800 and so the last way I'm going to narrow our results is by publication date, which you can see right here. Instead of looking at articles from 1989 to 2019, I'm going to put in 2015 so that we're just looking at the last five years. Now that we've narrowed it down a bit, we can scroll through our results, and I'm going to look at this second article here, The Achievement Gap Fails to Close. We get a lot of information about the article on this page, like the authors, the name of the journal, and if we scroll down, the abstract, which is a brief description of the article that you should read to get an understanding of what the article is about. Now, if we want to read the article in full text, in the upper left corner, there will be a link to the full text, in this case, a PDF. So you can see here, this is the article as it appeared in the original journal, and we can read it right here. Another option, and I highly recommend that you do this to stay organized with your research, is to email the article to yourself, clicking on this envelope icon, and you can email it to yourself. You can use a personal email address if you would like. And you can say, give me a citation as well. In this case, you can choose an APA citation and the PDF of the article and email it to yourself to stay organized. And that's a brief tutorial on using ERIC, one of the top databases for education research.